Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to browse the web without ads on your non-rooted Android device. Adblock Plus has been around for ages and it's the go-to ad blocking tool for desktop browsers like Chrome and Firefox. Well their development team has just released a new Android web browser that will block all ads without requiring root access. The app is still in its beta testing phases so it's not on the Google Play Store just yet. As a result you'll need to make sure your phone is set up for sideloading apps which is as easy as going to the security menu and settings and ticking the box next to unknown sources. Then to get started, head to my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks to download a copy of the APK installer file. From here just tap the download complete notification to launch the file, then press install on the menu that comes up next. When that's finished, tap open, then you'll be just about ready to browse the web without ads. Now on first run you'll get this nice little overview. Go ahead and read through these first few pages, then tap finish to head to the main app. Right off the bat you can tell that the browser is based on Firefox because it looks and functions almost exactly the same. But one thing I should note is that they're allowing some non-intrusive ads to be displayed by default. If you'd like to change that and block every ad, tap the three dot menu button and head to settings. From here go to the ad blocking menu, then choose the acceptable ads option. Next just deselect the loan option in this menu and your new web browser will no longer display any ads. Beyond that the interface is nice and simple. You've got this overview screen with shortcuts to your favorite sites and bookmarks and the tab switcher button at the top of the screen makes it easy to switch between pages. So it's a really nice browser and the ad blocking feature makes browsing the web even nicer. But for the full breakdown be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com and as always we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks but until then happy gadget hacking.